Everybody is Cam Nishti here, bringing us a brand new video today. I'll be going over what the Cardinals have to do this week to beat the Rams. That being said, let's just hop straight into it. What they got to do defensively, that D line, okay? We we've seen how good Chandler Jones can be. We can we've seen how good JJ Watt can be. We've seen how how good um, Byron Murphy can be. We've seen all these things, right? But we haven't seen all of them play well together. You see, Chandler Jones had his game against the Titans. Now, J.J. Watt has been the most occurring piece of all that. He He's up there with the run game every time. He he just can't always make the tackle uh, when he gets through the line, but that's still besides the point. And, but we need that D line and to put some pressure on Stafford or else we're just, we're just going to lose it so fast. Okay, we need to keep Stafford frustrated and confused and off his feet. We got him. We got to have him out of his rhythm so we can force the stops and give Kyler the ball. Next up, though, we need our DBs, okay? Today we just signed Quentin Dunbar when I'm making this. I'm not sure how much he's going to actually play or, like, have an effect. But honestly, I'm fine with our corners we have now. They're low-key solid. Byron Murphy, he's shown what he can do. Robert Alford, he's been solid. And Marco Wilson, he looks promising. Our three corners are, like, it's not bad. I say we probably have, we're probably over. We have, yeah, I'd say over or, uh, top 16. So yeah, better than most teams it, with DBs. But I, I still wonder, though, because oh, um, Marco Wilson did get injured. So I don't, we don't know the extent of that. He did play against Jags, but we don't know how much Dunbar is going to actually play. So we'll end up seeing that, and hopefully he can play good and improve something. But yeah. And then last but not least on, these, on the defensive side, we just got to stop Cooper Cup. He's been so dominant and effective this season. He, the, oh my, him and Stafford's connection is just absurd. And if we want to win this game, if we want to win this game, we got to cut that connection off. And so on, I think you got you got to put Byron on him. Okay, Byron's been pretty solid, and he's been able to get the job done against some of the best. So I I think he'll be able to lock him up. A decent amount. He's not going to lock him up the whole game, but I think he can do it for er, most of it, I think. So, yeah. Next up, keys for our offense. Kyler, he's got to stay on the route he's on right now. Okay? Kyler keeps playing the way he's playing. He might just be MVP. Okay? He, but he's still got to be dominant, okay? He, Kyler's throwing a pick every single game in one two one so far okay he and every time they're just bonehead mistakes so as long as he just keeps it to himself stays composed during those tough moments and just knows when to throw the check down and throw it away i think we'll be good but also i i would like to see a little more rushing i mean he does have a rushing touchdown every game so far but he he only has like if I'm not mistaken, like 70, he's 60 rushing yards as of right now. So I'd like to see him getting it going. But, you know, if we have the ball rolling, why not, you know, just keep it rolling. So if we don't have to, let's not. But I'd like to see him get a little more rushing yards. Next up, I want to see just all our receivers perform well. Hop, Kirk, Moore, and Green. Those are our guys. I, we still don't know... How much Hopkins will play next week if he will even play with that rib injury? It was kind of annoying seeing him only get like two catches last week, and it was kind of rough. But you know, Kirk and Green ended up making up for it with over a hundred yards each, which was clutch. And Christian Kirk, he's been our guy on third and fourth downs. Like I, I can't explain it, but I swear he's just. He's so automatic on 
on those downs. It's just, it makes no sense, but it, it works, so why complain? AJ Green, he's been a little mixed. You know, he, he's had like a catch each game, but he can't block to save his life. Every time we run the ball towards his side or anything, it's a, there's a holding call. Every time. So I think it would be smart of us if we just took him out and had someone else block. But um, on the receiving end, though, he, he's doing good. He's got, yeah, he's got one touchdown and has like 200 and, and some yards, over 200 yards. He's doing great right now for what we expect him to do. And hopefully he can just keep that ball rolling. Because Kirk and uh, Green aren't even the number one option. That's Hop. But with Hop being down, we need these guys to come up. And also, Moore. Rondell Moore, he's he's looking great for the future. Yeah, he's got that speed. If if we can find him more, because last week he had, he had four yards last week. Four total yards last week. We need to find, we need to find him more. Okay, and whether or not it's the run game with him or just getting those dump offs and letting him just see what he can do with his elusiveness, whatever we gotta do, we just gotta make it happen. Cause I think that was a key component in us like almost losing to the Jags. It's just we didn't get more going. So I I really think that's gonna be a huge thing for us to implement. Next up, though, our running backs, okay? They've been they've been awesome. Okay, they, Chase, he's been getting at least 40 rushing yards a game and at least 20 receiving yards, so he's doing it both ways. Okay, Connor, he's got a little bit of receiving yards, but he's more of a ground and pound, as you guys know. Oh, but he's also killing it, too. He's got three touchdowns. And if we can just keep our running backs... Doing, being the dual threats that they are, there's no reason this Rams team should be able to stop us. And we, we should be able to come out there with a victory. But my last point, last but not least, Cliff needs to be smart. Okay, in week one, and we got to see Cliff at his best. Okay, he was... Doing everything, calling all the right plays, doing everything right on offense. Okay, when they were making a bad call, well, if I can find the clip, I will throw it in here. He was yelling at the ref, which we have never seen. We have never seen Cliff do. He was yelling at the ref, getting him, getting in his ear, doing everything he can. And we need that Cliff. This game is going to be, it's going to be a nail biter, and it's, it's going to be a close one. And if Cliff can actually just get get with the refs, get with his play calling, you know, there's no reason why we shouldn't come out of this game 4-0 and leading the NFC West. What the Cardinals will have to do if they do want to come out with the win against the Rams this week. But with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, upload daily content, so be sure to tune back in. And I'll see you on the next one. Out, fourth quarter, shorty, no call outs. Don't go to work, baby, just call out uh, in the bedroom. All out, perks on the counter. I can't wait to take them. Blunts on the counter, can't wait to face it. Bad little bitch, yeah, she be my favorite. All my songs, they all on her playlist. I don't really know how to say it, but I'ma say it. I don't really know if she take it, but she can take it. I don't slow it down unless I'm in the matrix. Presidential brain, that bitch, like Sarah Palin.